All right, I know I'm gonna get a ton of heat for this video, but I have to say it. The reason most people get held back in life is their friends. And what I'm about to tell you is gonna seem a bit controversial, and it's gonna seem a bit heartless, but if you really pay attention to this and you really just have an open mind and think about what I'm about to present to you, I think it could change your mind and possibly change your life. We've all heard the saying, you are the average of your five closest friends. And this is true, but it goes a bit deeper than that. If you are lucky enough to have a group of friends that is ambitious, they're into personal development, they have big goals, they're striving to be better every day, they're encouraging, and they have all these qualities that a successful person would have. You yourself, as a byproduct, will eventually become successful because you are associated with these people. And if you do not exhibit those same traits, they will likely oust you from the group because you will have very little in common and you will not jive. But the problem is most of us don't have friends like that. And worse yet, the friends we do have, we hold on to so dear because of a previous event that happened between us and them. For instance, let's say you have a friend that is not ambitious. They want to drink and party. They make fun of you if you say, hey, I can't go out tonight. I got to stay in because I'm working on my business or I'm studying for a test or I just want to read a book because I, I want to better my life and I think this book could better my life. We all have that friend that goes, don't be ridiculous. Don't be a p Come out with us. Have a good time. There's always that friend. And usually that friend has a lot of problems in their life. But you don't get rid of that friend. Even though you know they're dragging you down, whether you want to admit it or not, deep down, you know they're a drain and they're holding you back. This is actually called the gap. In life, you will very rarely hang out with people that you're exact equal in terms of pursuit and the journey. You will likely have people who are above you and below you, meaning you will likely have people that are further ahead in the journey or are a little behind you in the journey. And there is a gap between the people that are ahead of you and where you're at. And there's also a gap between where you're at and where the people below you are at. And the people you wanna hang out with are the people that when that gap exists, they really reach their hand up and they grab the person above them and pull themselves up versus the person who reaches up, grabs that person's hands and pulls them down. Because look, right now there's somebody who is not as far as you in the journey and they are either grabbing your hand and yanking you down to their level or they're grabbing your hand and asking you to pull them up. And you likely have that friend who is dragging you down and you hang on to that friend for, again, one simple reason. And that reason is the event. The event that solidified and anchored you with this person, tied you to this person. What is the event? The event is a moment in your life where you went through great struggle. You went through great turmoil. You were in a very vulnerable position and they were there for you. They comforted you, they supported you, they talked to you and they helped get you through that turbulent time in your life. And because of that, you have now created this association with this person where you feel indebted to them, you feel connected with them, where that connection cannot break. And so the next time you run into a situation in which you're trying to lift yourself up and they are dragging you down, you think back to that event and you say to yourself, I cannot get rid of this person. I cannot cut this person from my life because they were there for me during the event. And here's the cold, hard truth about this. We have lowered the bar so much in our social circles today that we consider a good friend someone who is there for us during the event. When in reality, that is actually the very bare minimum threshold standard of a friend at all. Imagine someone was your friend and you were going through a hard time and they just weren't there for you at all. Well, they wouldn't be a friend. They wouldn't be a bad friend. They wouldn't be a crappy friend. They really wouldn't be a friend at all. And if you have any self-respect, you'd probably stop hanging out with them. So then what does that make the people who are there for you? It just makes them a friend. Now, sure, there are people that go above and beyond and go completely out of their way, but most people don't experience that. They just experience someone who is simply there there for you during an event. And you know, the people that do go above and beyond, those are probably the people that are pulling you up. So they're not a problem anyway. But the people who were simply just there for you, who did the very bare minimum to be considered a, a, a bare minimum friend, you've now created this connection and this association that you don't want to break because you think you're a 
a bad person for breaking it when in reality, they just did the thing that every friend should do anyway. And now when you get into a situation where you wanna level up your life and they drag you down, you let them drag you down and you don't cut them because you keep thinking back to the event. You keep thinking back to the fact that they were there for you and you don't realize that that was a minimum. That was a minimum standard of being a friend. The truth is that you have the opportunity in every one of your friend's life to be an evangelist to them, to show them that there is a journey and it goes much further than where we've ended right now. And you are on your way to succeeding in that journey, to getting to the destination, but you need their help to support you and not drag you down. This means if you don't wanna go out because you don't wanna go out and drink, you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to study for a test, you're trying to build your business, and they say, oh, come on, let's go, man. Yeah, don't worry about that. Forget it, let's just let's just go out. You need to be able to say to them, hey, I am really trying to improve my life. I am really trying to quit drinking. I am really trying to get up early, whatever it is you're trying to do, and give them the opportunity to give you the right response. If they give you the response of, you know what, that's admirable, man, I really should do that myself. Wow, how's that going? That's what you're looking for. That's a good friend. Your friend doesn't have to be perfect. They just have to be open, continuing the journey and leveling up. But if they say, ah, don't be an asshole, stop being a p yeah, whatever, man. That might sound cool and, and fun, but that's not a friend. And if you continue to hang out with people like that and you continue to not let go, you will be dragged down. And I know it sounds terrible because you're thinking right now, there's someone dragging me down. They were there for me and I just can't do that to them. But let me ask you a question. Think about what they're doing to you every day. Think about how much they're dragging you down. Add that all up and you tell me, if you take them being there for you and you subtract all the negative that they've brought you, if you're still going to get a positive number or if you're gonna be way in the negative, likely you'll be at a massive deficit. Look, if you're a stock trader and you win one amazing trade where you make a ton of money, but then you lose every other trade and at the end of the month, you are way, way down on your account balance, nobody is gonna call you a great trader. You got lucky once. So if your friend was there for you once and they did an amazing job once, but every other time they drag you down, then if you really average it out, are they really a good friend? Were they really there for you? Because if they were there for you, they would be there for you consistently. And so look, I'm not telling you to get rid of all your friends. I'm telling you, if you wanna be successful in this life, you're going to need to get rid of the friends that drag you down because your circle is everything. You put yourself in an extraordinary environment, you can be extraordinary. I'll leave you with this. There was a little parable that I find really inspiring. There was a famous concert pianist and he was playing a show in New York City. The night before his show, he went to the subway and decided to busk. He played on the side of the subway with his violin for four hours. And in that four hours, four people stopped. One person clapped and he made about $20. The next night, he played at one of the most prestigious theaters in New York City. Over a thousand people attended. They each paid $100 to be there. And at the end, what does this prove? It proves that extraordinary people can only thrive in extraordinary environments. And if you are an extraordinary person and you put yourself in a less than extraordinary environment, i.e. your friends, you will never be as extraordinary as you are destined to be. Is that worth it? If the answer is yes, then keep your friends. If the answer is no, your family, your kids, your real friends, and you will thank yourself I hope this video inspired you and helped you. And if you liked it, please give me a like. YouTube will show it to more people so they can learn from it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.